What is going on guys, Bisectatron here, bringing you guys today's video, and we are talking about the new Siege Machine, the Siege Barracks. This is a great use for the Siege Barracks. Um, when it first was introduced, was a little uh, unsure how it was going to be used, if it was going to be valuable. Um, kind of a weird dynamic that it spawns P.E.K.K.A.s and Wizards, then deploys CC troops, but here's a great use for it. It's on these minor attacks, specifically the Queen Charge minor attacks, um, but it can, I think, work on a lot of different attacks, even outside of the minor variations, where you need to create a funnel on one side uh, of the base to funnel in miners or possibly even dragons, some type of troop that kind of moves across in a wave. Um, what you're going to see here is the uh, the king does not need to be used in this case. Typically on a queen uh, charge minor attack, the queen creates the funnel on one side and the king creates the funnel on the other side because remember you have to create pathing that's skinny enough for the miners to be able to move through within about the width of a heal spell or so. Um, oh, we're losing connection. Great. Um, sorry about that. But you can see here the... Uh, Siege Barracks goes down, deploys a P.E.K.K.A. and a bunch of wizards. I think he dropped one P.E.K.K.A. of his own as well. And that takes the place of the king, uh, creating the funnel on that side. The king was able to be used to funnel the queen, which is very important on queen charges, being able to uh, funnel your queen into the base properly. And one thing to notice is also um, the CC troops finally come out a little bit late, um, but we have hog riders coming out, and that's a common... Uh, way you're going to be seeing this used is having hog riders in the CC to support the miners. They also benefit from the heal spells and they complement the miners very well. That's why we see hybrid attacks that involve both miners and hog riders. Um, so you fill your CC with hogs, you drop your uh, siege barracks, deploys the P.E.K.K.A. to tank, deploys the wizards uh, to do damage behind the P.E.K.K.A., creates that funnel on the opposite side where the king would have been used, and then the hogs come out and support the miners. It's a great, uh, perfect for this strategy. And I'm going to show a few more attacks where this works well, uh, both at Town Hall. This is 13. Then we'll move a little bit lower in Town Hall levels, take a look at some other attacks. Um, but this was very cool and a great use for the Siege Barracks. Okay, um, let me back up. And that was number six. Um, this is from a CCL war, no dip, very close war. Good job to both sides here. Um, going to number 16 here, we have uh, one of our attacks, showing it on both sides. This is all the way down to Town Hall 11. Uh, once again, that level 4 siege uh, barracks. I'm not sure what the exact number of wizards is, but it spawns a P.E.K.K.A. and a bunch of wizards. Like, there's some serious... DPS coming out of that siege barracks. Now one thing to note, and you might have noticed this in the last attack, is that the hog riders were deployed very late because there's a pretty big time gap. The packet comes out, the wizards slowly come out, eventually the hogs are going to come out. So my recommendation is to start the siege barracks relatively early before you would probably start the king, for example, if you were using him on that side. And what that's going to do for you is it's going to make it so the hog riders join the miners at a better time. They'll get more value. They'll catch up to those heal spells quicker. Um, otherwise, the hogs will kind of be trailing the attack, which is not necessarily what you want. So you kind of have to get a feel for it, um, the timing and everything. Once again, extremely valuable being able to use the king to funnel the queens into the base. That was something that wasn't an option uh, nearly as much previously before the Siege Barracks was introduced to the game. Okay, so there it goes. Drops down, P.E.K.K.A., bunch of wizards coming out. Sometimes you're going to want to use a uh, like a brief funneling troop or something to push that P.E.K.K.A. the correct direction because it's kind of 50-50 if it goes the right way. Although if the miners are deployed quickly and nearby, they can also push the P.E.K.K.A. the correct way. You can see it's kind of going up here and some of the wizards are going to suffer because of that. Um, but anyway, gets it does a pretty good job. I mean, it doesn't have to be a perfect funnel on that side. Uh, healers switch once again, as we saw in the last attack, onto the miners, which is always nice. There come the hog riders, uh, maybe slightly late once again, but uh, they're definitely going to get value here, taking out defenses, uh, moving through the base here. The reason you're going to put hogs and not miners is because the miners, um, you know, deploying that far out, all the way on like the back right side where that uh, clan castle marker is, 
The miners are just probably going to target the buildings on the outside of the base, not go through the middle, which is what you want. So uh, the hog riders are going to be more effective hitting straight in, taking out those defenses, um, being able to kind of finish off the base more effectively as you get down to those last few buildings. So uh, things finish up here. Bunch of miners left up. Very nice attack there uh, to Dazlo. Okay, one more to take a look at. Relatively uh, quick video here. I wanted to show one more example. I think this is also Town Hall 11. Yeah, this is going to be Town Hall 11. Um, Town Hall 10 is kind of being phased out of some of these League Wars, which I'm a little sad to see it go. Um, obviously, I have my Town Hall 10 Bisectatron account, which uh, is near and dear to me, but uh, I guess it, the balance has shifted possibly uh, in, in the favor of the higher Town Hall levels being more interesting for uh, competitive gameplay. We definitely saw a lot of triples. Town Hall 11, Town Hall 12, Town Hall 13, straight across the board, no dips here. Um, every Town Hall level is tripling, but, you know, grain of salt, uh, the base meta and just the defenses in general have to catch up to the attacking, which is always first to be maxed out uh, in, in these new Town Hall levels. So here we go. In this case, I want to show something a little bit different here. The king is being used just alongside the siege barracks. So... There's a big job here on this uh, right side of the base. There's tons and tons of uh, buildings outside the base that need to be cleared out. So the combined force of the P.E.K.K.A., the Wizards, and the King is going to get the job done. And it's going to be pretty good timing here of these uh, Hog Riders as they come out. They'll join forces nicely. But look at all those Wizards. I mean, it's a, it's a lot of Wizards that are coming out. Um, it's, it's fascinating. <laughs> um, I'd like to see some diversity, maybe some other troops too, but... Uh, P.E.K.K.A. and Wizards definitely uh, works well, and in certain circumstances, this is one of them. I, I think, though, there's probably also um, good, good times to use the Siege Barracks, and I'll probably cover that in future videos as I see it, but this is kind of the first prominent, uh, you know, well-tested, successful way to do it, is to use it to funnel one side of a, of a minor attack. So anyway, everything moving through. The king uh, is all the way down at the bottom of the base there, thanks to the uh, extra DPS that was uh, allocated to that side. Miners pushed through. Queen, I don't think even entered the base there. The base was pretty skinny, coming from the direction that uh, the attacker did here. And because of that, the queen didn't even have to break in, just walked all the way around the outside. I guess the trade-off is you can't use a wall wrecker, like a slammer, to let your queen in. So you got to use wall breakers, jumps, or just don't enter with your queen at all, as we saw in this attack. So that would do it, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, lots of more content coming uh, from this war. Going to be covering some other stuff, as well as some future wars. Starting to get back into the... Uh, having some good content to show from all these wars that are happening. Lots of good stuff. So uh, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bisectatron out.